Hello, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel, everyone. This is Frank Demore, the author of The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. I invite you to go over to my website where you can download my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, today for free. Right now, I want to cover a prophecy or two prophecies dealing with the same issue that is happening right now, and it's going to be leading to something even bigger. Hello, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel, everyone. This is Frank Demore, the author of The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. I invite you to go over to my website where you can download my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, today for free. Right now, I want to cover a prophecy or two prophecies dealing with the same issue that is happening right now, and it's going to be leading to something even bigger that I want to show you because we are definitely in the heart of the birth pangs and Two of these prophecies haven't been fulfilled yet, and I wanted to cover them very quickly. All right, so the first prophecy would be the Psalm 83 prophecy. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I just want to make sure that the people who are coming to my website know exactly who God said was going to attack Israel in the last days. Very, very important because he gives us the specific names of the nations. You'll see them listed here from 1 to 10. You'll see the tents of Edom. Now, I'm going to just move over to the right-hand side because these are the modern-day names of these Old Testament peoples. All right, So you're going to have the Jordanians. You're going to have Saudi Arabia, the Egyptians, the Lebanese. You're going to have the Egyptians who are in the Sinai. Obviously, Philistina is today's Hamas in the Gaza with the PLO, Hezbollah, and they're in southern Lebanese or this Lebanon and then Iraq and Syria all right so those are the players who are going to be involved in the Psalm 83 war against Israel now as soon as that war is over and the next war is going to take place that would be the Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 the description of that war there and you'll see all of those nations listed and I want to concentrate on Iran because Iran is a major player today. You're going to see it in the news. And everything that just about that we're watching now has to do with something pertaining to prophecy or leading to the fulfillment of the prophecies that haven't been fulfilled yet. Now, also, Isaiah. Isaiah talks about Damascus. This hasn't been fully completed yet. So this is what it says, the burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be in a ruinous heap. Now, also, Jeremiah writes about the same thing, talking about the ruins that are going to take place in Damascus. And if you've watched any of the news, all I'm doing is showing you some of the clips of what Damascus looks like, because they've been in now in a civil war for years, and it's getting much more intense. So this is what Jeremiah the prophet had to say concerning Damascus. Damascus has grown feeble. She turns to flee, and fear has seized her. Anguish and sorrow has taken her like a woman in labor. What did Jesus say about the birth pangs of the last days in Mark 13, 8? We see it in the Old Testament relating to the birth pangs, a woman in labor. Verse 25, why is the city of praise not deserted the city of my joy? Therefore, her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, says the Lord of hosts. I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Benedict. So, there's going to be a major war in and against Syria. Now, I've been warning to watch what Israel does, because... It all depends on what happens in Syria. When Syria either falls to the ISIS and the enemies of Israel, Israel is going to have to go in. Now, recently, ISIS has used chemical warfare. They've used mustard gas and the people that they've been fighting. Israel has paid close attention to what's going on there. And now we see skirmishes in the northern border involving the same people that we see listed in the Ezekiel prophecy and in the Psalm 83. And in this case, we see Damascus. Now, Damascus hasn't been fully 
fulfilled in that prophecy about it being left in a rune in a seep. It is well on its way for sure. So what we know now is through the news, if you've been watching daily, we see Israel is attacking the enemies that have been firing over missiles into the Israeli territory. This is what I keep saying are the footsteps leading to the first war, the Psalm 83 war. So let's look at the news for today, and again, I'll connect the dots. Before we get there, let it be known, the United States has supported Israel for years until President Barack Hussein Obama came along, and now we're at the worst relationship this country has ever seen with God's people, the nation of Israel, the chosen people to demonstrate and to sanctify the Lord God's name through the actions that he allows to take place in Israel so he can show, what I mean he, I mean the Lord will show that he's had his hands over all of the events to fulfill prophecy. Now in yesterday's news, the Times of Israel, you saw the headline, the Islamic Jihad shot rockets at Israel's north on Iran's behalf, IDF says. And of course the IDF is Israeli Defense Force. Now if you've been coming to my website, you know that I've been warning the rocket fire is going to continue, and it is continuing. And according to this article, it says four rockets landed in northern Israel Thursday afternoon after being shot from Syria, sparking fires but causing no injuries. The rockets landed in northern Galilee and Golden Heights, the Israeli army said in a statement. The army blamed the Palestinians, again, they're named in the Psalm 83, as well as Syria, Palestinian terror group Islamic Jihad for the rocket fire, saying it was done with, get this, Iranian money and intentions. So we have satellite nations that are grouped in the Psalm 83. And they're supported by Iran, who is involved in the next war against Israel in the Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 war. We consider Syria to be responsible for the fire, and it will also suffer the results, the army said in a statement slightly after 8 p.m. The statement was followed by reports of Israeli shelling in Syria, according to Israel's army radio. So it's not bad enough that Syria is in a civil war amongst itself and is fighting against ISIS. Now you got Israel combining and hitting Syria as well. So it is a mess. And that it is coming that Syria is going to be an all-out war with Israel, a conflict that will eventually put her in full rooms and nobody's going to be there anymore. Now the good news source from the DECA file, which came out today, August the 21st, talked about the four rockets fired on Galilee came from a new Iranian terror front on the Golan. I'm going to play a video for you. Israel's top government and military went on a high level of preparedness Tuesday, August 18th, in expectation of the first terrorist attack to be orchestrated by Iran from Syrian or Lebanese borders. That is what brought Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Defense Minister Moshe Yaalon, and Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Gadi Eisenkot on a tour of inspection to the Golan and Northern Command headquarters. Netanyahu said that Israel is ready for any scenario and would harm anyone trying to harm us. DEPCO files military sources report that these events were sparked by the knowledge reaching Israeli intelligence that Iranian Al-Quds and Hezbollah officers were building a new terrorist network for mounting large-scale terrorist attacks on Israel from the Syrian border opposite the Golan. The impact set off brush fires but caused no casualties. A red alert has sent most people running to shelters. Now I'm going to stop it right there and I want you to take a look. You see that fence there? Well, that fence separates Israel from its enemies, and it runs about 320 miles long, and it's about 20, 25 feet high. And according to what we know in the prophecy, when the Ezekiel War takes place, there is not going to be any walls, bars, or gates. So the only way that this wall that you see here can come down is if Israel feels safe. And the only way that that's going to happen if she gets rid of her enemies who are trying to kill her. And those enemies are listed in Psalm 83. Two of them were mentioned in this report, the Lebanese and the Iranians. 
right? Now, the other one is Syria, because Syria and the Lebanese are in the Psalm. Iran is in the Ezekiel War, but it's all leading, as I said before, it's all leading to the two prophecies being fulfilled. Now, the Jerusalem Post on the 21st gave us the story. The IDF, Islamic Jihadist, responsible for rocket attack killed in a second airstrike in Syria. It says this is the second airstrike launched by Israel in response to rockets launched by the Islamic Jihadist from the Syrian Golan Heights on Thursday. And for those of you who are continually keeping on the watch, you know that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is the type of person that is not just going to sit by and not take action against those that are trying to harm the Israeli soldiers. This is not a person that is like Barack Obama who does nothing, for example, to stop the nuclear weapons or the, the workings too to get their hands on the nuclear weapons. And I'm talking about the Iranian deal that just came out that Barack Obama signed with Israel's enemy. So you hit Israel once, Israel comes back, they retaliate, they hit you twice. Israel said it killed at least five Palestinian militants, and of course the Palestinians are in the Gaza Strip, mentioned in the Psalm 83 war, in an airstrike on the Syrian Golan Heights on Friday after cross-border rocket fire from Syria prompted the heaviest Israeli bombardment since the start of Syria's four-year civil war. Now, we're going in, I don't know how many times I have to say this, to more intense birth pains. Now here's another article that came out and I did mention Barack Obama in relation to the partnership we once had that was strong with Israel. Take a look at this. This is Israel talking to the United States. Israel to West. Your partner Iran attacked us. Your response. Official foreign minister letter ordered by PM, which would be the Prime Minister, they're talking about Benjamin Netanyahu, says Iran ordered four rockets at Israel, clearly showing her post-deal intentions. The post-deal he's talking about is the deal Barack Obama made with Iran. By direct order of the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's foreign minister, has dispatched an official letter to protest to the Western countries that signed the nuclear agreement with Iran regarding the Iran-ordered attack on Israel on Thursday. Now, even while this group was coming together for an Iranian deal with the United States, the group was saying during that the talk that they were going to go after Israel. But yet, Barack Obama kept up his intentions to allow, really, to allow that happen by giving them the deal. It says four rockets were fired from Syrian Thursday evening, hitting areas in the northern Galilee and the Golan Heights. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but if this was a discriminate terror attack planned in advance with no prior Israeli provocation, the letter stated. Israel informed the Western powers that it has reliable information that this attack was carried out by Palestinian Islamic Jihad ordered directly by the Iranian terrorist Saeed to be of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. The letter further states this is further clear indication of Iran's increasingly involvement in attacks against Israel, particularly against the regional targets in general. The ink on the nuclear agreement has not yet dried and this act shows clearly how Iran plans to act the moment after the international sanctions are removed. Now looking at the current events, looking at the attacks, looking at who ordered these attacks against Iran, looking at the amount of times the supreme leader from Iran has said they're going to wipe the nation out of Israel. And when you see what the Lord wrote to us about Iran coming together with the allies to wipe out Israel, what would it take for you to believe what you're seeing as coming as a serious warning from God that we are heading into the last days, I mean the final days. And you're going to see more of this because you will see the Ezekiel 38 war 
that will follow the Psalm 83 war. And these skirmishes and these attacks that we're seeing now is only a prelude to what is coming. This is Frank DeMora from the End Times Research Ministry saying, please, consider the Lord Jesus Christ, consider his warnings, and considering the salvation that he's reaching out to you. You're not here by mistake today. The Lord wants you to be saved, and the only way that that can happen is if you repent of your sins and ask Jesus Christ into your life. Otherwise, you're on your own and definitely on the wrong road. You will be counted as a friend with Satan, not with Jesus Christ, and that is a place you do not want to be.